we think you could head on out to Ling's Walk Shop. Now, come with me, and we're going to take a little, oh, this is fun. We're gonna take a little walk out here to meet John from Ling's. I'm going as, oh, hi! Wait till you, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells amazing in here. You know when you, when you walk into a restaurant and you're like, oh, I wanna order every single thing on the menu. Well, that's how you're gonna feel. Thank you that's so how, much for being that's here. That's how you feel every time you walk into Ling's Walk Shop. I wish Brad could smell this. You know what no, I mean? Well, wish he's the, missing out. He's he, missing out. He but gets nice weather, you get delicious food. Thank you. Fair trade. I right? think that's a fair trade. I mean, no one wants to cook in this heat, so right. why not let someone else take care of it? Ling's Walk Shop is making sure that you won't have to cook even after you leave the restaurant, this is the owner, John Bankwell, and he's going to explain. Yes, so we have, through the month of September, we have this great promotion going on called Walk-In, Take-Out. Uh, so you come in, order an entree, enjoy it in the restaurant, enjoy the cool vibes, the alcohol, the cocktails, mm -hmm, sure. the great service, and then before you leave, order another entree to take home, and you get that half price. Okay. So you get a meal for the next day, or maybe a late night snack, whatever you prefer. This is a great promotion, because I know in my family, like, I wanted us to be like the movie family that all sat down and <laughs> ate together at the same right. time, but the reality is, kids have games, kids have practices, so sometimes, you know, mom and dad eat at one time, That's and right. then the kids eat later. Yep. That's that's basically how my life is right now. Oh, uh, you uh, got kids? I, two of them. Uh, uh -huh. One of them's off in college. Okay. The other one is a junior in high school right now, and you never know when he's going to get done with football practice. So I usually end up eating with my wife, and then he comes home and gets the leftovers. Well, as a football so. player, he's probably eating you out of house, house and home yes, and restaurant. Yes, very much so. Very much so. Look uh, at this. Yeah. So we're making our Buddha's belly with scallops. So seared off some scallops in a, a very hot pan. We got some onions and mushrooms in there. Thanks for tilting that. That's yeah. very professional because I was told before this segment, hey, tilt the camera side. Oh, I like that flippy thing. Do it yeah. again. Do it oh, again. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, my. I backed up so I didn't get it. Oh, look at you. There we go. This is not your first scallop rodeo. No, not at all. So we got the uh, onions and the mushrooms sweating a little bit. We're going to add some green beans and asparagus. Great. Uh, so a little secret when you're cooking at home if you're trying to emulate wok cooking. Tell me. Very, very high heat. Okay. And if you have hard vegetables, green vegetables, like broccoli, green beans, uh, asparagus, um, you're going to want to blanch them off first. So kind of cook them for like 30 seconds in hot boiling water. Ah. Then strain them out. That way the water doesn't leach into And make it all soggy. Yeah. Okay, so, so if you're going to do a green bean, an asparagus, a broccoli, blanch it for a minute. Yep. Then put it on blanch high it, heat. Then uh, just run it under cold water. Let it cool off, that way it doesn't continue and cooking. And while you're cooking for our very hardworking crew right now, yep. can we talk about some of your signature dishes yeah, that you absolutely. have out here? Absolutely. So, so here, this is like, this is your take on a beef and broccoli? Uh, that's actually Kung Pao beef. Ooh. So nice and spicy. Uh, we use New York strip steak oh, in all of fancy. our beef. So yeah, we do all premium ingredients in everything that we do. Uh, our chicken lettuce wraps is right next to it. We do a more uh, Thai style. So the chicken is marinated with fish sauce, uh, lemongrass, cilantro, Thai basil, and we walk it up. Uh, our cashew stir fry shrimp here in front is super delicious. Uh, if you like mild food or okay. mild flavors, that's yep. probably the way to go. If you don't like spice, that's don't like good. sweet. I that's good. I love way to go. it. Super spicy, yep. but sometimes my kids don't. Look how beautiful this is. And then we're just gonna plate that, that up with some rice. <gasps> Yeah. This is gorgeous. By the way, my kids are always impressed that I know how to use chopsticks. There you go. I'm from San Francisco. Oh, you know, it's yeah. like basically like a fork test. That's awesome. That's where my son's in uh, college right now. No kidding. Yeah, San playing Francisco State. Right there. Uh, Academy of Art. Oh my God, playing. that's so yeah, cool. So wow. Good stuff. So we, we're just out there. Proud Papa. Yes, very proud Papa. Um, the food's incredible there. Thank you. But yep. not as good as your food. No, well, you know, maybe one day we'll be out in, you know, San Francisco, but. Um, For now, we're happy in the, here in the valley. Good. Now, a lot of people, before we go, a lot mm -hmm. of people are nervous going to Chinese food if maybe there's some food allergies in the family. A lot of your options are gluten-free. At, at Ling's Walk Shop, everything except one dish can be made gluten-free, uh, and everything except three dishes are already gluten-free. So we only have to make slight modifications if, you're, if you have a gluten allergy, uh, and our staff is super knowledgeable, so if you have other shellfish, seafood, any other types of allergies, just ask to speak with them. They'll guide you through. They'll make sure that you get some delicious food. 
and you get to enjoy yourself without being worried about uh, having any reactions. Love it. Before we let you go, Ling's mm -hmm. Walk Shop, where do we find it? We are on Hayden and Thompson Peak up near Greyhawk in North Scottsdale. Uh, then we have our sister restaurant, Ling and Louie's Asian Bar and Grill. That was the, the OG, the original. <laughs> That's over on 94th and Shea. Uh, that one, if you want a little bit more American flair, we do things like meatloaf and sliders Ooh. with some Asian... Asian fusion on there. So. Oh, delicious. I would take a bite, but I don't want to chew and talk because my mom said that was rude. Thank you so much, Thank John. You.